Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. Hungry the Hunters. We need or we shall rest at Jacob's Hovel. Which we will do right now, so get in, buddy. Cheers. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. Good. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. And tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. Okay, good. We take the money, obviously. Now, let's have a little nap and then we see what we are gonna need to do next. Or what, where we, well, sent might be the wrong word. But where we are gonna go next to, right? Ah, I'm sorry. Rest we do there. Now, leap. What the hell? Okay, skill. Ah, these are... Ah, alright, alright, alright. Neat. So these are her. We could still... We have two skill points. I am gonna invest a little bit in her too, obviously. Um, And here can cross ethereal portals that act like shortcuts through the invisible into the Incarnate in combat and here can dash towards enemies, dealing a small amount of damage. The leap manifestation has been unlocked after the consumption of the essence soaking Benedict's tie. Cool, thank you. Ah, damage initiator. Dam damage dealt by red is increased by 3% get full health. Oh, hello, that's nice. The fourth heavy attack triggers a punch that ignores resistance. Each enemy hit by punch attack increases the damage of punch attacks by 7. This if it can be accumulated, resets after switch. Using leap while the banished gauge is full. Increased leap damage. Oh, emoji, but consumes all banished points. Okay, 500 is insane. Percent. Parry restores 15 spirit points. That's neat. If I parry. Increase. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for now with the initiator. And we are gonna go over to here. What was it? Damage dealt by reds increase up. The higher the health points gouge, either that. Yeah, let's go there. Activate. And then... Yeah. That's what we needed to do anyways, right? When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. How do you feel? I feel trapped. Locked into an embrace with a nightmare. I crave. I crave essence. With it, I'd not so fast decay. With it, I'd not so quickly become one of those stupid, bloody specters. We made the right choice. We made it together. Taking a life is no small matter. When I ascend, we'll be separated. For the rest of your life. Maybe for the rest of eternity. Never again shall we stand side by side. This we... This thing we have shall cease to be. Oath. Red is about to swear an oath to Antia, and together they will choose her fate. Choices you make when bringing closure impact your chances to fulfill the promise made to one another. Alright, resurrection by the way. Remember, you remain free to make any choice you want when bringing closure, no matter the oath you have sworn, as long as you are ready to face the consequences. That is... The hard part in life, right? In... Ah, wait. Red Stressy will help Antia's ghost peacefully leave this world once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house. 
Retrus, he will help Antia come back to life once they retrieve her body from the New Eden's meeting house. They keep this oath. Red will have to sacrifice as many settlers as possible with the plane ritual. We are gonna go with the Ascent one. I don't wanna kill innocents, right. so it feels. That's that settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. For soon, you'll release me. I'll have my ascent. I hardly want to let you go. I know, but you must. Oh, can I? I am a shadow, caged and fading. You are still here? Still you? We could- Jacob Lind's essence called to me. I knew it wrong, but I desired it. There lies perdition for both of us. I cannot abide what I have become. I don't want to abandon you, but I must. So be it, my love. We'll reclaim your body. You'll have your ascent. I swear it. Yep, yep, yep. A promise made. Um, what I... Not wanna call it weird in a way. Um, don't get me wrong, and I ain't complaining, right? Return to the Broken Bridge, we will. What I did want to say is what I... The oath thing was done pretty damn early, right? Let's I mean, it's... the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. Yeah. We will go to back to the bridge. That was the wood folks. Return to the broken bridge. What I wanted to say... I mean, yep, we can change the oaths, right? If we want. But I still... Was that decision relatively early done? I mean, it depends on how the changing on the oath is, right? I guess we can still decide differently all the way through but I wouldn't have guessed that we make this decision that early but anyways who am I I'm not judging and I'm not complaining not at all not at all not at all all right I think I can jump the gap yeah your bane rings will help can you find the place where the stains align let me guess We have the rope available. Question is, even... Ow. Wrong button. R1 is not L1, right? Even... But how is the red gonna be? Oh, ah, she's repairing, right? Come with me. Alright, good, right? Good, good, good. And let me wait, okay. I just want to make... I'm sorry, I know, that is costing us a couple of seconds. I'm just curious, that was where we have been before, right? Maybe we have not been here before? Mm 
I just want to double check. Just want to be sure. Uh, take a look. Yep, okay. Yep, we've been here before. That's good. Now, that's... This is just what I, for me... By the way, uh, the foot folks reach New Eden Town. This is what we are going to go after. And I assume... Since it's three kilometers, um, the next couple of quests uh, episodes, since I guess a couple of quests are gonna be in between. What I wanted to say initially, I just wanted to mentally conclude this area here for me, since this was one open spot. I still have a little, I had a little linger still in my memories that I didn't explore everything or there was something not precisely where I knew where to go, right? I just wanted to, um... That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. I just wanted to, um, free no my mind of that... Neither, far as I can see. ...thought. Okay, we will fight. Uh, wait. With Anthea, Anthea used to leap to engage combat and get instantly close to your touch. Such manifestation comes from spirit point and will be cool down. Okay. Okay, Perry is there, alright. Gotta use that more often. Nice. Okay, you have found a cluster of spectral activity. As a banisher, if your job it's your job to eliminate the threat. Your health point at this decotion changes uh, with will be fully restored at the start and at the end of the day encounter. Eliminating a cluster grants permanent power bonuses at reboot points. Okay. But, we are not going to do, that is something we are going to do in the next episode, you guys. I just want to do one, make one thing for sure. Here. Well, it's nice here and all, but do you see a way up? Let's we collect first. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Just for now, I want to make one thing sure. Okay, good. First of all, here we can rest. That's good too. And I am not that certain. Can we even? No, I thought we could rest. Okay, I just want to say I'm not sure how the resting points work together or my, maybe, <laughs> that's what I wanted to say, they are something like fast travel points, but no, they are not. Okay, that is where we can go. Here we have leap points, right, over to there, which I do not want to use. I want to, first of all, Take a look right here and um, at least place myself right better for the next episode. But you guys, that right now then brings us to the end of today's episode. We will obviously go on here in the next episode. And you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for... Wait a second. We are actually gonna... Another road to nowhere. Now, I see. This? Spectral stains are out of reach. I have nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. Yeah, that's... See? It's a, it's a dead end. Guys, that brings us right now then to the end of today's episode. And you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If I guess actually do have enjoyed today's episode, then please give me a teensy little thumbs up and subscribe. And... Hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next beautiful, hopefully beautiful episode, which will be released on time, hopefully tomorrow. Until then, I wish you all a 
Wanda, Wanda, Wonderful Day. Stay frosty.